Judd Trump probably plays more exhibition shots than any other player and a lot of the time these are just very accurate shots played with a lot of power, but sometimes the positional elements of the shot are far more impressive. So I'm going to show you how to play these shots and exactly where you need to strike the cue ball, so you can have a go at your own Judd Trump exhibition shots. Welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos then it's fantastic to have you here. Judd has the ability to play very accurate controlled shots with a lot of power and every player would love to have the ability to be able to play these crazy pots. Yes. But while that may be dependent on your relative potting level, you can definitely have a go at his crazy positional shots, so long as you know exactly where to strike the cue ball. So we're going to begin by looking at how you can play shots where he makes the cue ball arc on the cloth, move on to shots where he's making the cue ball spin round the cushions, and finally look at the shots where he's putting both of them together. But don't worry, because we're starting off at the shallow end. But I want to start off with a shot that almost anybody will be able to play, no matter what their ability. So let's have a look at this one. Judd uses topspin here to control the cue ball and get position on the black. To get on the black, all we need to do is get the right amount of topspin on the ball. You get too much and it's going to spin back towards the top cushion. Too little and it's just going to fly off down the table. To play it well, you've got to really control the speed of the shot. Now there are two separate ways of playing this shot. You can just use a lot of topspin to slow the cue ball down as it comes away from the cushion. Or you can use a lot more topspin and make the cue ball spin back into the cushion and then come away again at the right speed for the black. To play this shot you need to strike the cue ball well above centre at a firm pace. And striking the red at about a three quarter ball angle is absolutely essential. That's probably the easiest way to get the cue ball to arc on the table, however, it's still a difficult shot to judge. A slightly easier shot to judge is using backspin to create a banana shot, though it's a lot harder shot to play. To play a shot like this, you need to be able to apply maximum backspin at the correct pace. What happens here is the speed of the shot makes the cue ball run on straighter until it slows down when the spin on the cue ball slowly starts to grip the cloth. The spin is pulling the ball in this direction but the power delays this effect. Making the cue ball arc at a slower pace isn't actually that difficult. But what is a real challenge is simultaneously striking the cue ball hard and producing a lot of backspin on the ball. To play it, you need to strike the cue ball very, very smoothly right through the very bottom of the ball with a large amount of power. And to play this positional shot off this pink, you need to play it in exactly the same way. What's noticeable on a lot of these shots is Judge uses very little side spin to move the cue ball around the table, often using instead a lot of power and backspin. Initially I wasn't helped by going in off in the middle pocket here, but my main problem with this shot was my table simply wasn't fast enough, meaning I had no choice but to resort to playing the black from distance. The shot is played almost entirely with backspin alone, with just a small trace of right hand side. As with a lot of upcoming shots there are a number of different ways to play them, but Judd often opts for the power option. And right now I'm going to take the option of putting Yasin from Jadida Morocco on the map. So we're going to begin the shots where Judd gets into position using a lot of side spin with this brown. Judd uses side spin to confuse everybody and play through the gap between the pink and black here. Screwing the ball down and back up the table for the blue here isn't really that difficult, but getting the right side spin on the ball is. And it's very easy to apply too much side or too little. I can just about get away with this shot, but I'm unable to get the dramatic reaction off the cushion that Judd could. It's just very difficult to keep the white spinning the right amount once it's travelled that sort of a distance. If you want to have a go at this shot, you need to play it with a little bit of side spin, but with a lot of back spin. Giving the cue ball too much side spin is likely to make it difficult for you to reach the other end of the table, rather than over spinning the white when it gets there. With this shot, Judd plays the cue ball around three cushions for the black, with less side spin and back spin than you'd probably imagine. Thankfully, this one's a little bit easier and it's a fairly standard shot for when you finish low on the pink. And we're just going to spin the cue ball around three cushions back for the black here. 
Weirdly, playing the cue ball with too much backspin can actually slow it down, and if you put too much side on the ball, it's likely that you're going to catch the jaws of the middle pocket if you don't go in off. This is more a stun shot with a medium amount of side. However, this shot that Judd's been playing quite a lot recently does need a fair amount of side to get it round the angles. So what do you actually need to do to be able to play this? This is a shot Judd's been using a lot recently and putting too much spin on the cue ball can be just as big a problem as putting too little on here. Quite perfect. This isn't that hard to play if you're willing to leave it just a little bit short, but if you want to get close to the yellow it can be a real challenge. At this pace it becomes very difficult to miss the brown and green, and I didn't actually realise until I did it that you can actually overhit this shot. As with a lot of shots before it, this one uses raw power more than spin to get in position. This shot really won't work if you put too much backspin or side spin on the ball, and the place you want to strike it is about halfway to the bottom and halfway to the side. And striking the cue ball closer to the middle of the ball here actually makes the pot far, far easier. And this just seems to be Judd's individual way of playing the game. And we have Toby watching us from Coventry in the United Kingdom. So these are the shots where the cue ball arcs on the cloth and spins off the cushions. I'm not sure it actually makes it that much harder, but it certainly looks fantastic. And we're starting off with this black. Here Judd uses an unusual but effective route to cannon the reds and get in position. Finding a path to the reds requires a really good shot, however it does also require a fair bit of good fortune to finish on one. Again, this is another power shot rather than a shot that has to be played with a lot of back or side spin. And to play it, you have to hit the cue ball far closer to the centre than you'd ordinarily would think. Once I managed to play it, I was fortunate enough to get on a red, though I don't know what I would have done after this. You need to strike the cue ball towards the bottom and towards the side of the ball, but not right at the very edges, otherwise you're going to get far too much spin on the white. However, on this shot, where Judd takes advantage of the green not being on its spot to get on the yellow, does require almost maximum spin and power at the same time. I've tried this before and I remember the main difficulty being actually hitting it hard enough. Ah, not quite. You need to make the cue ball arc in the same way we were doing earlier to get between the pink and blue. But the more left hand side you can get on the ball, the more it's going to speed up off the two cushions and the easier it's going to be to get on the yellow. You need to strike the cue ball as close to the bottom as you can, with the tip of your cue being about halfway to the extreme left hand edge of the white. And the more you can make the ball arc, the more left hand side you can put on it and the easier the shot will be. You may remember me trying this shot in a best shot compilation video, but what do you actually need to do to be able to play it? Sure, I don't need to play this shot again, but I'm pretty confident I've got it for some reason this time. But don't be fooled, this really isn't easy, and you have to cue the ball extremely well to get right back up this end of the table. Yo! That's not too bad. What makes this shot really difficult is you have to strike the cue ball almost as hard as it's possible to do. And it's difficult to push your cue through straight at that speed so you don't apply any unwanted side spin and smoothly so you get the back spin you actually want on the cue ball. And it's that type of shot that Judd probably plays better than any other player in the world. To play this shot you need to strike the cue ball as low as possible without any side spin at almost maximum power. Any unwanted left hand side will just cause you to strike the side cushion and unwanted right hand side will just slow it down when it gets there. This shot however does require a small amount of side spin but is a lot lot harder to play well or even play at all to be truthful. And to be truthful I've never been able to play anything like this shot before. With this shot you power the cue ball into the top cushion which causes the cue ball to arc a little bit as it comes away and go through the gap between the pink and the blue. To make it arc the extreme amount you need however you do have to get it to bounce onto and off the top cushion. That's nearly. 
The problem is at this speed you can only make it bounce a bit before all the balls jump yeah. off the table. Well, I don't think I'm going to get there with that. To play this shot, you need to play the cue ball with topspin, but striking down on it just a little tiny bit, and I'm pretty sure you need to trace a left hand side to make it work. But currently making our new map work is Salman from Gurjarat, Pakistan. So if you want to see more videos of me recreating difficult shots, have a look at this one from the Masters. Or if you're stuck in lockdown at the moment, have a look at our snooker quarantine challenge. And remember, don't just watch, play. And make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.